Hi, uh, welcome to the matchcenter.com. In this video, we are going to look at one question which appeared on the exam, the AS physics exam, October November 2019, subject code 9702, paper 11. Uh, question is question number 27. Let's read the question. Yeah? Before that, please give this video a like and share as much as you can. And please follow me on Facebook and YouTube. Now let's read. Water waves of wavelength lambda are incident normally on an obstacle with a narrow gap. The width of the gap is equal to lambda. So we're told the waves from the gap emerge over an angle theta as shown. Great. So we're looking at diffraction. We have incident water waves and uh, diffracted water waves. And uh, we are told this is lambda and this is also lambda. So we know the lambda does not change. Uh, the gap is slowly widened. Yeah. So that's the story. Yeah? Before we look at this part here, we like to look at this part. This is a typical setup for diffraction, okay? And we are looking at a narrow gap, water waves of, length, of wavelength lambda, the gap is of width lambda, so you know that this lambda here and this is also lambda, okay? Uh, and you are told that the waves emerge over an angle theta as shown, great. Now what you're going to do is, you're going to widen the gap. So which changes, if any, Okay, which changes, if any, occur to theta and to the wavelength of the emerging waves. Okay, so we are looking at an aperture or a gap and we have, this is your wave and what happens is we have dispersion. Yeah. So when, your, uh, <clears throat> when you have a narrow gap, your dispersion here is much wider and much more obvious. Yeah. So we have angle theta. Now when you widen the gap, what happens is the dispersion is not so much. Okay. So what happens is your angle theta here, let's call it theta 1, goes down. Okay. So I have written it here. Let me move that up. Okay. I've shown you a picture here. This is theta 1 and this is theta 2 when the gap is widened. And note Theta 2 here is less than theta 1. So, just to read what I've written in case you can't read my writing, gap widens, dispersion is less. Now, what happens to the wavelength? No change. Yeah? There's no change to the wavelength. So, correct response is A. Oops. Correct response is A, uh, theta decreases and the wavelength remains the same. Thank you for watching. Please uh, give this video a like and share as much as you can. Please follow me on Facebook and YouTube. Thank you.